Hi, my name is Bob. I'm from Tallahassee. I'm 67. I uh, grew up in a Republican household, uh, decided I would be a Democrat before I was 40, had become a Republican. It's kind of that old Churchill saw, if you're not a liberal when you're 20, you have no heart. If you're not a conservative by the time you're 40, you have no head. And as I was approaching 40, my very small business was growing and I was noticing the problem of lack of personal responsibility. And I could see how that expanded to almost every issue in our country. So I thought the Republicans had a better handle on that. I thought the Democrats tended to excuse behavior and sometimes bad behavior and sometimes reward it. So Republican. Uh, Newt Gingrich didn't really float my boat, but still I voted in uh, for Republicans in every national election from 1992 to 2012. However, once it became clear that Trump was getting the nomination and no Republicans were pushing back significantly, I left the party and I became an independent. Since then, I've registered as a Democrat to vote in the primaries because I wanted to be able to uh, influence the nomination of a more moderate Republican or more moderate Democrat. Um, but really, I'd have preferred a third party. Now, I didn't really take Trump's campaign seriously yet because I really had no thought that he had any chance of getting elected. But... He did. And now, not only has he been elected, but he's purchased cabinet of everybody who uh, might talk back to him. Um, and I've been appalled at the spread of what I would call the sycophant syndrome, or SS for short, which has infected so many Republicans and they're all so quiet. As Lisa Murkowski said recently, she hopes that this time will now be the time that they will step out and speak, begin to speak.